Well, hello, um, Dr. Hakandela. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, today I want to introduce you to uh, card catalogs. Uh, card catalogs are some of the most important uh, um, catalogs that have been used for hundreds of years uh, in libraries, public school libraries, academic libraries, and even special libraries. Uh, card catalogs are with as important tools that are used for information retrieval. They show the collections of uh, what a library has. And uh, here's an example of a card catalog uh, at the University of Zambia. Uh, this catalog has been in existence uh, from 1966 when the university was established uh, up to a, just a few years ago uh, in the mid 2000s when it was uh, uh, discarded and replaced by a computerized catalog. Now a card catalog, uh, as you can see, consists of uh, cabinets and then uh, the cabinets have got drawers and within the drawers uh, the entries are put on, uh, on cards. Uh, these are cards that are about uh, five centimeters and by eight centimeters. And the, on each uh, card is bibliographic uh, information, which is uh, describing uh, a library item. And uh, the cards are then put inside a tray, and the tray has, each card has got uh, uh, a small hole, a, a perforated at the bottom. And then uh, an iron rod is passes through the holes to, to hold together uh, the cards. Now, um, if we notice, uh, we have so many trays uh, which contain uh, our records. Uh, on each card is a record of a particular library item. Now, a card catalog has got uh, many advantages uh, which made it very popular uh, for quite over a hundred years uh, they were very very popular uh, they pre replaced uh, book catalogs now the card catalog uh, some of the advantages it has is that it's highly flexible it allows uh, new uh, entries to be inserted yeah, easily it, it's also um, easy to search. Uh, different users can search this card catalog uh, simultaneously, as long as they don't search uh, in the same tray. Yeah, same yeah, at the same time. Yeah. But they can search uh, different in different trays at the same time. Then the card, the cards can be reproduced, okay, and uh, uh, sent to other libraries for interlibrary lending. Then uh, another uh, advantage it has is that these cards are relatively strong, uh, durable, yeah. and can withstand the uh, usage for a long time. You know, you know they have usage by students and library, other library users. So, um, yeah. talk, talk briefly about uh, searching. How, how would you use well, a search for a, a, an information resource? Um, the, let's say by subject to okay also. the arrangement in a card catalog uh, uh, is alphabetical okay. yeah the the cards are arranged alphabetically by author by title and by subject and in some libraries you interfile uh, the cards so that you you know you can search uh, by author by title by by subject in the same tray. That's called a dictionary uh, catalog. But uh, in some cases, you separate, you have a separate set of trays for authors only. So that's an author catalog, uh, as is the case it used to be in the University of Zambia library. Then you, you have also a title catalog, which is searchable by title only. And you have another section, which is uh, a subject catalog. So um, there are advantages of doing that way because uh, 
uh, if you search by author only, uh, you, it, it reduces confusion. Uh, and you search by title alone, again search by subject. But when they're interfouled, you, it becomes bulky okay. yeah, and a little bit complex. Okay. Yeah, uh, complicated. So, say I need a book by if you, Chief Weber. You go to C, you know, you find uh, uh, the, 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 the catalog has, you know, a label which tells you uh, that the authors from A to B are here, authors from C to G maybe are here, like that. And then you search under CH for Chifuepa. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. am, am I allowed to search for using other bibliographic information like ISBN? No, the, the disadvantage it has is that it has very few search options. Okay. You can only search by author by title and by subject, uh, so by series title as well, you can for, search. For yes. Me, okay. yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, you cannot search by ISBN, uh, you cannot search by, uh, say, if, if, if a book, some books you can search by barcode, for example, but you can't do that here okay. in a card catalog. So yeah, that's, that's, a, that's, that's a limitation. The other limitation, if you notice here, uh, this the cabinet is huge. quite huge. Mm -hmm. You actually you keep on adding more cabinets and more trays, more cabinets as the collection grows, and therefore it's bulky, and you it occupy a lot of space. You can see all this space, which is meant, which can be used for other purposes. Yeah. But probably the other questions that. Having migrated, having should I use it with my migrated? Like mm -hmm. you moved on to to Opax and Web Opax now. Where do you? What's the essence of maintaining this in the library? Um, uh, there's no essence of maintaining this in the library unless you want to keep it for historical purposes, and unless you want to keep it also for uh, you know for teaching purposes. But otherwise, there is no need of keeping. This has been overtaken by online public access catalogs. Which we, which we have here. Which we have here, okay, yes. We, okay. uh, sometimes it's in Asia, you know, uh, librarians, you feel like you takes you time, it's yeah. like it's part of your you. <laughs> so to, 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 to keep it away, it takes hard. time to, 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 to get rid of it. Right. And, and, and sometimes also when, uh, you have just automated. Mm -hmm. You still have issues of. Uh, like is it working? Yeah, maybe the, the supposing the OPAC collapses. Uh, you know, okay, we we'll fall back on it. Otherwise, it's no longer. Mm -hmm. needed. We are needed. All right. Thank you, Doc. Um, mm -hmm. Let's let's move on to the OPAC now. Sit and see. Yeah. It yeah. Operates. yeah I appreciate yeah. it.